All right. Good afternoon, freelancer. And today is Wednesday, and it's the second day that uh, that new weapons came out, and we're here. We're back in Anthem uh, free play, GM2 free play, guys. And I'm here to try these new weapons. And at the moment, I have uh, two of the two of them uh, equipped. Uh, it's the uh, Pulse Accelerator uh, Bad Omen and Grave Digger and this is the first day that uh, I'll be using them so I'm gonna try all nine of them there's a uh, Pulse Accelerator, uh, your Bolt and then your Blade Swinger so this is the Bad Omen, it's charge uh, damage wise I, I think it's decent it's a decent damage. Uh, when it comes to Anthem anyway, uh, this game just doesn't let you rely 100% on your weapon. You have to do your abilities, your Q&A, your Q&E abilities, your, uh, you know, your components, all that stuff, and then of course your alt. So, gun is just, you know, one part of it that do the damage in this game. So this is your bad omen, it's not that bad, I mean it's, it's kind of decent, and then uh, we have here, this is pretty good, this gun is good, so it kind of give you that uh, slow, and then it's kind of like double the fire rate like right there, when it hits right there, did you see that, that beam just double, let me see, the first 10 and then you're right there uh, this is pretty good making good damage was just a grave digger uh, good range good damage uh, you don't need to charge it so it's gonna be a constant uh, damage dealer uh, the only thing that I've noticed about it is that it consumes too much ammo so I guess if you can get this in a better inscription like uh, 100% uh, magazine capacity or you know those dual two times maybe like two inscription that is magazine capacity uh, this, this gun is insane I like it so alright so so far uh, bad omen and a uh, grave digger uh, primary fire is that one there's no secondary fire so I was expecting it to have secondary fire to be honest guys Alright, so we're gonna try the other one, the Rainmaker, Pulse Accelerator. Yeah, so I was thinking, you know, your... Your... The fire... Is your secondary fire. Oh wow, that's, that's good. This is the Rainmaker, guys. This is really good. Oh wow, that's, that's a lot of damage. Even the shielded. So wow, that's, that's really good. Rainmaker is good, guys. Uh, Range-wise, I think you need to get close to this to land all the all the bullets or all this energy, whatever you call this. But uh, wow, it's it's crazy. The damage is wrong. Uh, this is just pure damage. All right, this is good. This is good, guys. So this is the Rainmaker. Yeah, like I said, um. Uh, I hope or I wish the you know you have your primary fire right here and then maybe secondary fire is kind of like a shotgun or vice versa you know what I mean we really don't need uh, zoom in um, capabilities with this new weapons I, I just don't I just don't need it what I what I want from new weapons is just mow down these enemies as fast as I could and move on to the next stage of if it's an event you know what I mean so maybe this is your primary fire and maybe secondary something like this or you can use the other one uh, the bad omen something like that that's your secondary fire but I hope that they they could have you know uh, used two perks in one gun you know what I mean um, so so far that's the pulse accelerator uh, let's let's change it up uh, that's so so far a rainmaker is a beast Rainmaker is a beast guys, it's really nice, alright. So we go into a uh, Blade Slinger, this is your Razor Wing. And uh, Reza's Ripper. So I'm not talking about inscription here or you know your base damage because like I, like I was saying uh, earlier. Okay, they didn't change my... They didn't change my weapons. 
Like I was saying earlier, you know, weapons is just one part of your damage dealer in the game. Uh, you have your abilities, you have your uh, components that also add up in your, you know, because some components add some damage to your loadout. Alright, so we have our Razor Wing right here. Alright, so Razor Wing is an instant fire, so this bounces to a different enemy. Like I was saying, if your Razor Wing could have been your prima primary fire, and then maybe the Reza's uh, is your secondary, and Reza has that, uh, Reza's cool. Oh, wow. So here you go, your Razor Wing just kind of bounces from enemy. To the so I, I guess this one, uh, the Razor Wing with the with that, it got some range to it. So it's, it's pretty cool. You can be in a safe distance. Um, I can think that this this blade, you know, this blade guns, man, is is really good with your interceptor. So weapons. So your Reza's Reaper is your single target. Your Razor Wing is for your multiple target enemies. And we can change this one to a uh, shard storm. That thing is, that thing is dangerous. Shard storm. All right. Is this, is this it? All right. Shard storm. Oh wow. This thing is like a shuriken, guys. It's crazy. So this is a uh, AOE damage, multiple enemy damage. Which is cool, you know, like I was saying before, uh, if Reza's or your Razor Wing is your primary uh, fire, and then you have your alt fire right here, your secondary fire, maybe the Shard Storm, it could have been insane, dude. One gun, two perks. I think we ha we still haven't have a gun that has that has two abilities in one gun. I mean, this could have been the uh, the great time to do it. You know what I mean? You have your one gun right here, which is your either Reza's or either your uh, Razor Wing. Because all, most of these guns, uh, I mean, are charged guns. Oh wow, that's crazy. This is crazy. Reza is also a nice gun. Kind of have that, uh, what you call it, like over the t overtime damage. But this one, this charge storm is crazy. It's like a shuriken, guys. What the hell? It reminds me of Naruto, man. So that's good. That's good. So I guess with the right build, with the right javelin, right components uh, against uh, a certain faction, certain enemies. You know, I see these guns are very powerful. So, so far, I only like uh, Rainmaker because of that raw damage. And then went to the Blades uh, Slinger. Um, Reza, Reza's Reaper is pretty good for your single target. Uh, Shard Storm, maybe GM1, GM2. You know, it, it kind of... I, I see it. I see it, you know. So, all right, let's, let's move into Flash Fire and... So your flash fire right here, and uh, what's the other one? Uh, Jars right, as you can see, there's a symbol on the on the left side. That means that's a um, a circle symbol is a primer. All right, let's do it. Let's see what this can do. What's this? Oh wow, there's a chain. There's a chain. So uh, this chain is real, you know. Like I said, with the with the right javelin, with the right components, I can see this with a ranger, with that components that when you hit an enemy five times straight, you can apply acid to it. So this can be a primer with the right javelin. Oh wow! And that chain combo is has some distance to it. It at least changed in about five meter. Uh, from the gun to the enemy, that's that's pretty far, and that chain lightning bounces about I would say about five meters. So this one's a good good um, gun for multiple enemies in the same area. All right, let's try the other one. Jarus wrap is the primer. 
Alright, it's kind of same thing with the flash, whatever you call it. So it's it's prime. Alright, alright. Uh, maybe a Colossus with a smash, like a melee build with this. Prime it and then melee it. And instead of using your ordinance launcher or your whatever that thing that freezes enemies. So yeah, firing wise is pretty good. Damage wise, not so much. Range, it's pretty close. It's about five meter, five meter range, guys. That's not a lot. That means you would need to uh, get close and personal. Like I said, maybe a Colossus for this, for this gun. And the last one is let's let's change the flash fire with the last one. So this last one is a lightning rod and this is uh, what's that? So it has a logo of uh, detonator. So all right, let's see. So you have your jars rod. Where's my jars rod? Right here. Which is a primer, but uh, I can see that my thing didn't change my gun right here. Where's my gun? Lightning rod. But most of these guns, they have amazing, amazing skins, guys. This these skins are ridiculously nice. It's too good. All these skins are good. Uh, but most of these guns, they kind of look alike. Oh wow, so that one is kind of launches uh, like an herb to your enemy. It charges, attach your enemy, and then it kind of strikes down lightning. So this one takes a while. It's, it's one of those weird mechanisms, so you attach it, and then a lightning will strike down. That kind of takes a while to make a damage or to kill some enemy, but it's an AOE damage. Uh, I would say the range of this one is is pretty far, but the problem is this orb also has a travel time, as you can see. Oh wow, it has that uh, arch. You have to aim. Oh wow, it has that arch. See that one? So I would say about mid range. So most of these new guns. New weapons are mid range. Uh, like I was saying, if Jaros Rod is a primer like this, and once you prime it, maybe the secondary fire is your lightning rod. And then there you go, that, that was a combo, a lightning combo right there, guys. I don't know why they didn't do that. Why they, they didn't do two perks uh, in one gun, like a, like a primary shot, like a you know, like a primer or a detonator or something like that. Could have been cool, could have been cool, guys. But anyway, uh, so far, out of all of these guns, I only like... I only like uh, this uh, Rainmaker and the Pulse Accelerator. It's really, it's really great. And... I'll go for the Rezus Reaper. Rezus Reaper in the Blade Slinger category and then uh, the Rainmaker and a Pulse Accelerator and maybe this one uh, what was I using the, the blue one the blue one earlier uh, when it comes to the Volt is I think out of this three is this one the Flash Fire when it comes to Volt Caster like I said guys uh, you know it's just my opinion but I believe that some of this gun with the right build, with the right javelin, and with the right situation can actually be, you know, really really good in game. But then again, the weapon itself is only part of the damage dealer in game. You also have to build your abilities, your Q, and your E, your alt, different components, and all that stuff uh, factors in the damage dealing with when it comes to this, when it comes to this game. So anyway guys, that's pretty much it. That's my opinion and my first impression about these guns. I think they're amazing guns. Uh, I just could have wished that uh, they just incorporate some of this perk in the same category in one gun. So that way, you know, we have one gun, two perks. 
Alright guys, thank you very much. Have a good day and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.